The Sega Dreamcast is a great console, but time has not been kind to the soldered in battery. There's also a common problem with the controller ports failing, like on this console. This is due to a controller fuse that can blow if you unplug, plug in or even wiggle a controller sometimes. We're going to fix these problems right now. Mark fixes stuff. Let's open the console up. I've covered disassembly many times before, so we'll speed this up. We need to take out the controller port board. Pull out the flat cable. It's best to do this from the board side so it's not in the way when we're soldering. Next, remove the fan connector cable. This is locking so it might be a bit stiff. There are four gold screws. Now the board will come free. and the rest of the Dreamcast can be put safely to one side. There are four areas of interest on the board. This fuse, which is a one-time one-shot deal. If it blows you have no controller port power and a useless console. This fixed battery. All of these have long died, leaving consoles begging for time and date input on power on. This 47 microfarad 10 volt capacitor, it's probably fine, but it's a 20 year old electrolytic so we'll replace it anyway. We'll test the old one after removal to see how well it held up over the decades. And the power LED, the standard LED is amber, but this can be changed. We'll be using this green LED, so you can see the process of swapping them out. Let's heat up the desoldering gun and crack on. First, we'll replace that pesky fuse. The replacement is better because rather than being a single use fuse like the installed type, it's a self resetting part. If you blow up your ports, you can switch off, wait a minute and the fuse will self heal. I'm using a desoldering gun but the standard manual solder sucker will work fine. Looking at the removed fuse, we can see that in actual fact it's a fusible resistor. We'll replace it with this 72 volt 400 milliamp poly switch resettable fuse. It's simply a matter of swapping the components. With the fuse taken care of, we turn to the battery. The installed battery is long dead. It was a CR2032 rechargeable part. We'll be putting a battery holder in its place and populating it with an ML2032 rechargeable battery. Don't use a standard battery or it will leak and explode. We'll desolder the existing battery and solder the battery holder into place. We'll not install the battery until we are putting the board back. The capacitor is next. I'll be interested to test this. This tester makes noises. A flat tone is no good and a cheery ping is within spec. A double ping is good health. We have a single pin. Let's test the replacement. We have a double ping. 
Let's put the new replacement in now. Capacitors need to be installed the right way around. The board shows a positive and negative marking. The filled white side is for the negative leg, the shorter cathode. Be sure to observe the polarity on the capacitor. Last, we'll replace the standard amber LED with our new green LED. Like capacitors, LEDs have a polarity. The longer leg is the positive side of the LED, called the anode, and the shorter leg is the negative side, called the cathode. The cathode is also usually marked with a flat region on the LED case. Making sure to observe this polarity, we install the LED. With our modifications done, we put the machine back together. Powering on, we see our new green LED in action. Of course, this is just for fun and can be any colour or simply left original. The Dreamcast naturally boots into the date and time settings screen. Happily, our controller is now working. So we set today's date. Bear in mind that the ML2032 battery is rechargeable and will need a good hour or so of the console being powered on to become charged. If you reboot straight away, you'll be prompted for the time and date again. And we are finished. Well, after all our hard work, I think it's time to relax and play some games. Big thanks to my amazing patrons. Here they are on the screen. And thanks to you for watching my video. Perhaps you'd like to watch some more. Here, I'll pop some on the screen for you. Bye.